Hi, you are looking at the Invicare GS350 Get You Up Hydraulic Stand-Up Lift. And this is typical of any lift that you can see on GoSouthernMD.com's website. And this is something uh, similar to what you're going to get when you rent from us under our rental category. Okay, And we have an individual here. And he's going to be assisting in what it's going to be like to get this person moved from a wheelchair, a hospital bed, a scooter, or whatever. And uh, they can't move their legs or they're very fragile where they need a lot of help. Okay. And what I want to explain to you is how easy this is to maneuver even though it's hydraulic. Okay. So what we're going to do is, and every time when you order from GoSouthernMD.com, you get the entire kit standard, okay? Which means it's, it, it is going to include everything you see here, except, of course, a scooter. And um, it's pretty simple to assemble. It probably took me about 15 minutes, okay? And I'm going to show you the different components. Um, I went ahead and put it around these six, six point. And this is a lot easier than what uh, a typical patient lift or a Hoyer lift. They've made it a lot easier color coding it so that way you know where to put it. Before, in the last couple of years, it's been pretty difficult to figure it out for someone that is doing it for the first time. But when you order this uh, lift, it's, it, this is what it looks like right out of the box. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to roll this. And it does have a spreader bar. And all you got to do is doesn't take a lot of strength as you can see I can use one finger and do it okay and then you just push it towards the scooter okay which is what I'm doing right now okay there we go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it around this gentleman he weighs about 240 and um, it slides underneath the seat Okay, and what's important if you're ever renting a scooter or buying a scooter that it, it does have the swivel option where it can go to where they're easily uh, transportable. Okay, no, actually that's going to go right on your back right there. Okay, okay now what you're going to do from there is you're going to attach it. There's a there's a piece right here. Tanner, there you go, right there. This is going to attach right there. See that? Okay. Now, the difference between a stand-up lift and a regular patient lift is this piece here, if you can see my hand, this is going to be underneath your butt, which you were doing. You were doing fine. If this is a piece that does that, it's going to be from your back all the way to right about here. So that way we can pick you up, and you're going to be totally off the ground and not standing, and then we'll, and then we'll move you to the facilities or to a, a lift chair, or anywhere in the house. Basically, this is going to be able to move anyone anywhere in the house. Okay, That's the whole purpose of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, are you comfortable? You always want to ask that question. You're going to hold on right here. Yep, there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift him up. And you're going to see how easy this is. I'm going to use one finger. So if I'm a, a woman, 100 pounds or so, it doesn't take a lot of strength. Um, this piece here, you turn, okay, this brings it down, and this, it's very easy, look, I'm doing it with one finger, try, why don't you try it out, Tanner, show them how easy it is, yeah, not a lot of strength, so you push it, and then you start pumping, look at that, I'm basically using one finger, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, so that tells you how simple it is, try, try it, I know you're supposed to be disabled, but pretty simple, isn't it? It is. Okay. So now we're going to keep pumping, and you're going to notice that it's going to keep lifting them up. Is it lifting you? Yeah. Okay. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to put your feet right there and your knees right there. Do you see how it's got a little, little uh, layer in between there? Uh which is going to differentiate your legs, okay? So now we're going to keep lifting. 
And you know, the, the, the more weight, it, the harder it's gonna get, but I'm still using one, I'm still using my finger and thumb to do it, so it's really simple. Okay, and it's, and it's lifting them. Is that bringing you basically up off, let's see. I'm yep, off the chair. you're totally off the chair right now, good. I'm gonna keep it coming. Now this is for someone that obviously they can uh, walk or they can stand, but they're not very good at it. In other words, they can't stand very long. Uh, they're very, um, you just, you just want to help them with the circulation of their legs by getting them up, working the circulation. Um, also, it's going to um, assist in, uh, you know, moving them to an exercise room. Just someone that's very fragile in the leg area, okay? And obviously, if this was a full lift, uh, patient lift, like a Hoyer lift, like I was talking about before, the sling would be in this area here, and it would be holding him, and, and it works just like a standard Hoyer lift. So you can see he's f fully stood up in the lift, weighs about 250 pounds, and uh, it does have a 300-pound weight capacity. Are you comfortable? Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how easy it is. All you got to do is grab right here. That side of these? Yeah, just hold on right there. And then I start moving you. Okay. That's it. And then I move you. Let's say I move you to the facilities. And you can close this just by turning it like that. And watch how easy this is. That's it. I'm using two fingers. Okay, so now uh, the easiest way, though, it, to move someone, and I'm using, you got to remember, I'm using one hand to do this. So obviously if I was a lot weaker, I could use two hands, no problem. And a lot, sometimes it's easier to go backwards, but the important thing is to always get the four wheels going in the same direction. And then always, one of the biggest problems with mistakes, people that get hurt, is you always want to lock the wheels if you're letting them sit for just a small period of time, which you can easily push down to lock them. So this is the patient lift by GoSouthernMD.com, the Invicare GH S350 Get You Up Hydraulic Stand-Up Lift. It's listed on our site for $8.99, brand new in the box from the supplier, free shipping. And if you go to our, our uh, rental, this uh, patient lift, this is what you're going to similarly get. This is what you're going to get from us, except that it will be a patient lift with a boom and not the stand-up one, okay? But you can see how easy these lifts are to use. Uh, another important, very important fact, if you are renting these for hotel rooms, one of the biggest problems that we see is to make sure that the hospital, or excuse me, the uh, hotel bed is accessible for these right here to get in. If that is not accessible and you cannot slide those underneath the bed, it will not work and you will not be able to get that person out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring you back over to the scooter and we're going to lower you. As you can see how easy that is. And I'm doing all this with one arm, so. All right, and then you're going to open it up like that. And then we're going to roll it in there. I'm filming while I'm doing this. That's kind of talented, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so the scooter's lined up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push that over there, and then it'll come down. Is it coming down? Look how it's falling. Look how easy it falls, too. And that's why you always want. And there you go. Did it Did it come down nice and easy? It did. And there you go. That's the patient lift from Go Southern, MD, Go Southern MD, either rental or purchase. Thanks a lot.